Hi guys, good evening. Welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, and in tonight's video, I'll be discussing the possibility that we have may very well have had our very first look, our unofficial first look at Cyborg as he will be seen in, as he will be appearing in Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice in just a few months. Uh, the title of this video, as you saw it, uh, is this our first look at Cyborg. Uh, the photo that you see uh, for the video of the action figure is apparently the suppo is supposedly how Cyborg will look in the movie. Because I read an article from comicbookresources.com, a very reliable, reliable source, uh, that they say that there's this new toy line from Toys R Us, which are one of those mystery uh, mini bag things. Like you open it up and you're not you're not sure what you're gonna get, and you can't tell by feeling it or anything. And it's like a tiny little uh, figurine like that big, and they're tall and plastic. So even though this toy looks large, I think it's actually only about that tall. I'd say maybe that tall. If that gives you an idea. Uh, <laughs> maybe not. But uh, that's how tall it is. Now, they're saying that this could be Cyborg from the movie because it is the same brand. Uh, it has the Batman v Superman logo on it uh, with the uh, bat symbol and the super uh, with the Superman symbol in the bat symbol. Uh, and then, uh, you know, there, there's also um, different versions of uh, both Batman and Superman who are definitely both appearing in the film. And the characters are definitely the ones that look like Henry Cavill and Ben Affleck. Uh, however, there's also the possibility that this could just be another version or rendition of Cyborg, in, at least in a toy form. Because the article goes on to explain that there are also uh, miniatures of other DC characters such as Robin, The Flash... Green Arrow and a few other versions of Robin and Flash apparently like Flash in a green outfit or something like that and uh, Cyborg is included in this line so I'd say the chances are that this is like half and half could this be how Cyborg will appear in the movie it's very likely very possible could this just be another toy rendition of uh, of cyborg and this is not at all how he'll appear in the movie he may look like something else completely different i'm not sure we don't know uh either way i'm still very excited about seeing him in the movie i know it was confirmed a good while back like a, about a year ago or two years ago i'd say yeah, something around that time that uh, the actor uh, Ray Fisher, who hasn't done a whole lot lately, he comes from a theater background, but he's been in a couple movies, was cast as Victor Stone, a.k.a. Cyborg. And uh, we're not sure how much of a how much of a role or a presence he'll have in the film. Uh, like Aquaman, it'll probably be some badass uh, glorified cameo or maybe uh, not such a big glorified cameo, but a cameo that would be worthy and remembering nonetheless. Uh, I think the way he could fit into this movie personally is um, Victor Stone was probably a citizen of Metropolis who got caught, uh, crushed to death, or not cr to death, not to death, but crushed under some uh, fallen buildings during the final battle between Superman and Zod at the end of Man of Steel, like the destruction of Metropolis, which will be a key factor in the plot for Batman v Superman. One of the reasons why Batman doesn't trust him because of all the damage done to Metropolis. Anyway, um, so we, so my personal theory, and I'm sure there are lots of other theories out there like this. My theory, though, is that Victor Stone was an average citizen living in Metropolis who was badly, badly, severely injured, close to the brink of death uh, during, the during the battle between Superman and Zod. And he was uh, almost crushed to death by a building or his body. I think in the comics, as I recall, his body actually is uh, set ablaze, catches fire. I don't know what exactly happens to him, but he receives horrific burning uh, all over most of his body and if I recollect his origin story I could be wrong about this and guys please keep in mind I am in no way a comic book expert but I think his origin story is his father was either a scientist at Star Labs or uh, knew somebody at Star Labs and took him there to get treated and save his life so they added all of this uh, robotic uh, features and uh, appendages on him which 
ultimately saved his life. He was no longer really human. He was more machine than man, but he still maintained his humanity and his consciousness and goes on to become the superhero known as Cyborg, who uh, in some issues and cases of uh, the comic world becomes a founding member of the Justice League, or if not a founding member, one of the original members. Uh, you know, he's appeared in the comics, he's appeared in Justice League Unlimited, the animated series from Warner Brothers, uh, and now in this in this movie, he'll be appearing, Ray Fisher will be bringing him to life on the big screen for the very first time. So I think it would be cool to see if the character Victor Stone was a victim of the destruction of Metropolis, and uh, that's what ultimately led to him becoming cyborg was life-saving surgery or an experimental operation that, uh, you know, applied robotic appendages to a human being. And instead of turning into a supervillain, he becomes the superhero. And maybe at first he's a little angry with Superman, but uh, maybe Superman, Batman or Wonder Woman or somebody comes to him or he goes to them saying, so... Uh, I hear you guys are putting a team together or something like that. Nothing that corny, but he definitely will have a, a presence in this movie. How big it will be, I'm not sure. And uh, if this is how he's going to look in the movie based on the picture of this toy, looks pretty cool to me. I mean, that's how he pretty much looks. It's like half his face is robotic, half of it is still human. Or not necessarily robotic, but like covered, like a metallic covering and at least one of his arms if not both of them is a cannon which is pretty damn cool uh the toy does the t little action figure doesn't really show if he has fingers on his other hand or not so it looks like they're both like you know like cannons like this uh which i think would be pretty cool nonetheless uh but who knows you know we won't know until we see the movie just another reason to look forward to it and be very excited for it as you guys know i'm tremendously excited for it i absolutely cannot wait for march 25th to get here well guys oh what are your thoughts and opinions on this do you think this is cyborg as he will appear in the movie or do you think this is just another rendition toy version of him that uh you know they're just putting out there to promote and uh add to the hype of the film do you think this is uh, Ray Fisher appearing as cyborg in toy form. Please leave your thoughts and opinions in your comments down below. I'd love to hear from everybody. I'm always anxious to hear your guys' uh, feedback. I hope uh, you know, have a few theories or ideas of your own. Let's be respectful and civil and polite, of course, of one another's beliefs and opinions. And uh, thanks so much for watching and subscribing here on The Edward. Don't forget to subscribe for more content and more videos. And stay tuned for my special X-Files themed video where I'll be discussing my top five favorite episodes of the X-Files as we get closer to the new series premiere later this month. Thanks again, everybody. Have a great rest of the night. And of course, until next time, may the force be with you.